Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome to another Colors of Hope Crafts ASMR. My new fiber of the month club um, from Paradise Fibers came in. And I'm, as usual, really excited about it. And I wanted to open it up with you guys to see what's inside. And I also want to thank everybody for their support of my last two videos. That's been really sweet to read your messages, um, both the ones that you leave on my videos and the ones that and I get in person or online. That's really, really awesome. And uh, I'm really glad to be able to talk to you about hydrocephalus. Yes. But t this video is gonna be just about the par the paradise fibers. There's a bag. So if you're interested in lovely color and fiber and relaxing sounds um, and and um, or you just want to learn something new I welcome you to stick around thanks so much for joining us today Zoe in the corner. Oh, I see purple. Purple is my favorite color. Yeah, I definitely see purple. It's a definitely a good start. Ooh. So it says, in your box, we have six ounces of pumpkin spice, a blend of 65% merino in six colors, 25% baby camel top in two contrasting shades, and 10% and um, viscose tweed. <laughs> And then it also has two ounces of Tutti Frutti, a heathered blend of a Corydale fleece, one handmade pumpkin spice coffee stitch marker, um, one, one uh, coffee sheet magnet, and one pumpkin spice dash tea. Also, shout out to my hey, anybody watching from the Paradise Fibers Spin Along team. Spin Along is going to, or sorry, not Spin Along, Spin Together team. Um, that's going to be taking place in October, and I picked. I just decided to join the Paradise Fibers um, spin along team. So I'm excited about that. This will be the the tea. Yes, Zoe, I see you. This is Zoe. Say hi. Say, say hi to your, 
all your fans. She's not sure where to look. So, this is the pumpkin spice tea. Uh oh. Got all these cool stitch markers from these from them. And then this is probably the the uh, tutti frutti. It's a yeah, a heather blend of bulky cord, bulky carded and cord elfies. darker than I usually use but I've got some fall stuff that could go nicely with that so so that'll be fun This is gonna be the pumpkin spice blend of 65% merino in six colors, 25% baby camel top in two contrasting shades, and the 10% viscous tweed. So soft. That's typical of merino. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Zoe? If you can't tell, she's sniffing it. Although she's not quite as interested in it as Leia usually is. Leia usually has to give it a thorough sniff to make sure that that it's actually real fiber. But then there is also a beagle mix. Yeah. This is gonna be great for making and um some um some probably some art bats. Um or um, de or definitely some art yarn and for a uh, fall so yeah, that'll be lots of fun so thank you very much Paradise Fibers and so, or I could end up mixing what do I do with that? I 
putting the mixing the two of them together. Sometimes it's fun to play around and and mix things together. We'll find it. Oh, it fell on the floor. No wonder I couldn't find it. It fell on the floor. like they've got, oh, they even listed the uh, different colors that are mixed in here. Okay, so there's Merino Clementine, Railway Gray, Merino Pumpkin, Merino Amber, Merino Hazelnut, Merino Flow Pink, I would have to imagine that's flamingo pink. Um, or it might just be flow pink. Uh, brown baby camel and white baby camel. Um, I have not ever spun with camel, I don't think. So, um, that'll be fun. That'll be fun for me. And fun for, um, for whoever gets to use it. It, it. I love making art yarn. It's very, very fun. And so I suspect that what I'll end up doing is um, combining, oops, uh, combining some of this with some of the fiber from the last batch. Zoe, what are you doing? Zoe, leave it. Sorry. If you've seen my videos before, you know that most of it is uh, raw footage, so you get to see me and Zoe and Leia as we are. This will all look really good together. Yeah, this will be some fun, some good stuff. I'll have to play with. I'll also add the Cardell in there too. But this month I'm mostly focusing on uh, colors that are, are shades of blue and turquoise and green. Um, um, because as it is Hydrocephalus Awareness Month and um, uh, that is what I'm committed to um, this month. And, and the blue and the turquoise and the green um, are uh, colors associated with um, hydrocephalus awareness and the hydrocephalus association. So, uh, I hope you like this video. Um, please comment, hit subscribe, um, and I um, will see you again soon. Take care.